What up, world? It's the Big Fact Show. It's Mark Waldo War. I got a special guest in here with me today, Rose the Youngster. You can definitely Hello. check him out on Spotify. He's got the Lyrical Therapy album. This is his latest release. It is is well worth the listen. Thank you for joining us. How you doing today, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm um <clears throat> I'm gonna correct you on that though. Lyrical Therapy. It's on more than Spotify. It's everywhere. It's on Apple Music, iTunes, YouTube Music, Spotify. It's on um shit. All major streaming platforms got you, my bad. There well. Hey, I tell you what, it sounds good no, no matter which one you listening to. You 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 got some bars, brother. You got some you got some cadence too. I I I love your delivery. Appreciate it. You you ain't you ain't much uh you you, you know like as you as you get more famous, you're gonna get the same questions over and over. You 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 don't much got too much like 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 influences. You you came up with your own shit, huh? Yeah, you talking about like far as my music or like my name or what? Your delivery. Yeah, my the, the way the way you rap. Yeah, that's really just how I rap. I never like really tried to sound like nobody. That just how like I come off when I rap. It sounds you, good to me, so that's what I. Man, you sound like you really mean that shit, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm just remember about what I've been through. You, you, got, you got a lot of pain in that, man. Yeah, man, it's a whole lot. A whole lot of that. I've been experiencing that since <laughs> young age. Losing friends and all that type of shit. Yeah, it's a whole lot of that. Does, does the music help? Or do you ever feel that you know, you make a song and then, and then the, the, you, you perform it or you hear it over and over and it brings back bad memories. No, nah, actually, music helped me. Like, if I'm depressed or something, like, if I'm feeling, like, like down by some really the way, like, because I'm not the type of person who can vent. Like, I don't feel like I can vent to folks. Like, it's not, it's, it's hard for me to talk to people, like, one-on-one -on -one conversations. So, it's like, a microphone is like a person to me, but it just catch everything I'm saying and they come out on a song and it sound good to me. So I can like just let it out through a microphone other than talking to somebody who who probably are just gonna judge you or if they get mad at you or something, they'll try to use whatever you tell them against you, basically. Is dealing with media and I just, I just do um, oh, not go ahead. Nah, go ahead. What you were saying? Is dealing with media and people like me and having to talk about yourself one of your biggest is that one of the biggest drawbacks for being a musician for you? Nah, honestly, I honestly like you to be honest because like I want folks to know me. That's the only way people gonna know you is if they talk to you and you tell them like you tell them about yourself. That's the only way they gonna know you. So I ain't got a problem with it. Got you. So what? What? What's your story? You know, like if they was writing the double XL piece like they would a decade ago, what would they be talking about? Like me, I say, see, I'm from East Point. I grew up. I grew up with both parents. I grew up playing sports actually, but like, it's the like I I was in school, but I didn't really like school like that to be honest. And music, like with the music. Like I, I used to listen to my big brother and my big cousin. They used to be in the studio all the time. So when they used to be in the studio, I'd just be sitting there, but I ain't know I can rap. Like, but then they one day out they um they told me like try to write a hook. So I wrote a hook and they liked the hook. So we used my hook. But after that, I ain't do music no more. But one day, I don't know, I think I was just in my room, so I would listen to a beat and I wrote a song. When I wrote a song, I was just going around rapping it to everybody. When I was rapping to everybody, everybody liked the song or whatever. So after that, I just started really, I kept going, but I never had a studio to go to. So that song I had, I had the song in my phone probably for like two years before I actually recorded it. So when I recorded it and I was letting everybody hear, they like, bro, that's hard, that's hard, that's hard. So after that, I just stuck with the music. I kept rapping after that. And I started doing like little shows. I was winning like um, contests and all type of stuff like that. And I just been rapping ever since. So with me, yeah, like music. It you, 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 you want to show at a strip club, right? Yeah, I want to show at a strip club. 
and, and that was like a super live atmosphere. That was my first introduction to you. Uh, Trill, shout out Trill. Garth sent me a clip and said, look, look at this young man I'm working with. And, and uh, you know, I, I saw that clip. That yeah. that, 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 that was stupid live. Oh yeah, that was that was lit. That was lit, lit. That was really that was actually one of the the best shows I feel like I did. And it was, I got I got to ask you something though. You said you got you was in sports, you was in football. What was a what was a better feeling? I played football, basketball, and baseball. I actually had a I actually had a baseball scholarship to Valdosta State, but like I said, I wasn't really into school like that, so I ain't really want to be there. So I used to get in trouble a lot, and I got kicked out of school, so. They really just went like down the drain. Well, you ain't like you ain't like being told what to do. Yeah, ain't it? It ain't that I ain't like being told what to do. It's just like, like my temper, like any little thing. Like if I get irritated or something, I used to get like mad, or like if it's something I don't understand in the class. Like if I'm asking the teacher, you know, it's a lot of students, so the teacher can't really give you one on one, like time like that. So if I try to like tell them like. I need help with this, and then they tell me to hold on. I get mad and just leave. Like, man, I don't even want to be here. So I just realized school, I ain't going to say school one for me. My head just went in school at that time. Like, now I, I'm like, I wish I wish I would have stayed in school. Are you, do, you, do you believe, or are you starting to believe that you'll be able to be a musician as your career for the rest of your life? Well. And, do you, and if so, do you think about what that means? I want to be, I want to, but no, I, ain't, I mean, I'm not even going to say I want to. I, I believe I could, but I don't want to. I actually want to do more than just music. I want to do acting, like a lot of stuff. Video. You, okay, well, fair enough. Like, but you've taken yourself out of the traditional job market and given yourself more autonomy in this world, especially to, uh, you know, it, it's got to be better for you as a person to, ha to have a career that allows you to be creative and expressive. The one that has you told what to do and, and chained to a clock. I mean, it's no secret that musicians work hard, but you definitely picked a life of hard work. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But it's like, I'm ready for it. I'm really ready for it. Sometimes I feel like I'd be stuck. Like, though. like I'd be stuck. I don't be knowing what to do, like where to start at. Because, like, I'm really, I'm still at the beginning, honestly. I'm at the starting stage still. I'm paid. For sure, I'm trying to get noticed by people, so I'm still at the beginning stages. So I just know I just gotta keep doing music. And what happened gonna happen? Is, is is it still like you know everybody try everybody got advice trying to tell you what to do, how to do it? Yeah, I get that sometimes, but I really I really block that out. Folks feel like I don't be listening, but I folks feel like I don't be listening because I don't take everything they say and just do it exactly how they tell me to do it. But I'm like, you can't really tell me how to do something that I do. But the most successful people be the be the ones that got something different to them, and you got something different to you. You know, don't let nobody produce that out of you, contract out that out of you. I mean, look, look at me telling you what to do. But I I, I love I love the unique the uniqueness you have. You know, the only advice that that, that everybody say that's true is 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 read the motherfucking contracts before you sign them. That seemed to be pretty undefeated. Yeah. That 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 train is never late. And to be honest with me, if I could get in a situation where I didn't have to sign to nobody, I wouldn't. Get lucky enough to get a big buzz, they can just start, then they just start getting paid shows without even signing anybody. If I could get to that level and not sign nobody, I wouldn't even sign to nobody. I would just continue to stack my money and make and build my fan base and do it by myself, honestly. Dude. I, are you starting? You're starting to have fans from out of state and overseas now, huh? Yeah, I did. I um really, I got um I got um when I check my Spotify, it really says Japan a lot though. It's a lot of folks in Japan. I I, I can see that because, like I said, you 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 definitely got a, a unique cadence. You know, I don't, I don't know. You know, a lot of these words is cliche and stereotype, and they some rap magazine bullshit made up by some college motherfuckers that don't know shit about hip hop, but but. It, it, it's it's something about the way you spit. The, 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 there's an energy in it. Uh, like like I said, anyone listening, I would highly suggest you check them out on any streaming platform. Rose the youngster. Um, sure. Spell that out for me, just so I don't get it wrong, please. It's R O Z A Y, 
D A Y O U N G S T A. And uh, you know, it, it's no exaggeration. This young man's building up uh, quite quite a fan base in Atlanta. Is uh, mu- like I said, his music starting to get out the city. You know, like we we getting in early on the wave. You know, before before we get out of here, is, is there anything you'd like to say or talk about? Um, let me see. Oh yeah, actually, I got um, I got another project. I got another project called Soul Cries. I'm not sure when I want to um drop it, but it's already finished. It's finished already. I was planning to drop it on New Year's though. And my daughter actually, my daughter' birthday is at twelve o'clock. I'm not sure if it's twelve o'clock yet. My daughter's birthday is at twelve o'clock too. Also, so I'm saying birthday to my daughter. But yeah, my my project Soul Cries is like it's kind of like lyrical therapy. It's like what I rap about, I just rap about what I what I go through, basically. I don't even try to compare to nobody or sound like nobody or rap about what everybody else rap about. Because I know if I rap about what's really going on with me, I know I'm not the only person that go through the stuff that I go through. So I know somebody is going to feel it regardless. It's going to relate to somebody. Man, bro, I ain't never been to no motherfucking Bugatti. I damn sure ate some shitty food a couple of days before my paycheck. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So that's why I try to keep it as real as, as, real as it can. Like sometimes I like to rap about the industry stuff, like how it would be if I did have it, but I know I don't have it. So majority, 90% of my music is going to be real of what I'm really going through and what's really going on around me. Man, you you, you going to get it, man. Rosé the Youngster, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Man, anything I can do for you, you take it light, man. Uh, you too. All right, yo, good night.